A planned pregnancy turned my husband into a monster. Original post. It feels like a cruel, cruel joke years before I met my husband I was in such a toxic, abusive relationship that it almost ended my life. I spent years in therapy, bettering myself, figuring out why I accepted that type of love. I stayed single for years, and once I started dating, I made sure to keep an eye out on all red flags. Heck, I even took things slowly when there was nothing but green flags. Thanks to my ex I was familiar with love bombing. I met my husband at work event, and things just fell into place. I opened up and explained my past trauma, and let him know that if we were going to date that it would require a slow pace and patience. I won't say that he was perfect, but he was always kind, compassionate, and cared. We dated for about five years, engaged for one and married for a little over three years now. We recently bought our second home together, we both got promotions at work, so we sat down and talked about kids. He wanted a big family, and I only wanted one or two. We agreed on two, and well started trying. It didn't take long and here I am six months pregnant, still working, have swollen ankles and a back that won't stop aching. Other than that I'd been very happy and have what I thought was a supportive husband. Three weeks ago, I found out that he was having an emotional affair, and honestly probably a physical one. When confronted with the evidence he admitted to not being attracted to me while pregnant. I'm wrecked. I haven't gained unnecessary weight, I still take care of myself, even with the morning sickness that hasn't gone away. He's not sorry about it, but you told me that I was being overdramatic when I cried, he is staying with his family until he can find a home to rent, he doesn't want to get a divorce he's saying after the pregnancy is over we can go to therapy and fix things. I don't want to. I cannot physically look this man in the eye anymore without feeling disgust. I have a text from him saying that he's my only option, because no man wants to date a single mom. I'll be talking to a lawyer and figuring out how to divorce him I just wanted to vent into the void today. For now I'm going to DoorDash some nuggets and a frosty from Wendy's and be okay if I gain 5 pounds from it thanks for listening well reading I suppose. Edit. I was told I'm not allowed to change the locks due to it being his home as well and he came over last night knowing there wasn't crap I could do to prevent it. Thankfully he only grabbed some personal belongings, threatened to take the dogs, he did not, and let me know he emptied our shared account. Part of me rolled my eyes and figured he wasn't dumb enough to do that, and the other part made me make a mental note to check it once he left. Sure enough our account has maybe $5 in it, he did a transfer which I'll be calling the bank about and speaking to an attorney this afternoon. Thankfully my dad taught me you don't fully mix finances so my savings wasn't capable of being touched and while it's not a lot it's enough to pay for the fees over the next few weeks. I don't have any family left so I think he's doing a power play to make me feel like I'm alone and need him, when in all reality it's lit a fire under my butt that I don't want or need such a garbage person in my life. Update 1. I wanted to do an update with how many people took the time to send messages, leave comments, and share their own personal stories which especially helped make me not feel so alone. As mentioned in an edited post I was not allowed to change the locks on our house due to both of our names being on it. I never feared for my safety, it was more so an annoyance. He showed up to grab some personal belongings and I thought that what be the most that would happen. It was like he was trying to get a reaction from me he told me he transferred funds and emptied out the account, I didn't believe him until I saw it myself. That was both of our money, so that's being dealt with currently. He showed up the day before yesterday completely drunk, begging to talk, increasing in anger when I would just ignore him and walk away. It kept increasing so I went to grab my bag and walked down the road to a neighbor's home so I wasn't alone. He grabbed my arm to stop me and when I yanked it away, he slapped me almost a backhanded open slap. The cops were called, I didn't have a mark on my face so it was a my word versus his they escorted him off the property and I'm only now assuming he's back with his parents now. He did throw a fit about the dogs and does have proof of ownership so I'm guessing he'll be able to take them. Went to leave to go for a drive to clear my head after everything and realized three of my four tires were flat, I know it was him but I don't have proof. Insurance won't cover it, so going to a tire shop on Friday morning. Just another drop in the bucket. As for the attorney I've had my consult and I'm waiting for my check to come in for my actual appointment and getting the ball moving on this. There's not any family left and a few close friends are kept in the loop but I don't want to burden them or treat them like unpaid therapists so I think that's why I came back to Reddit. Something therapeutic about just typing it all out into the void. The baby slash pregnancy is okay I've actually lost weight, 
and the doctor has told me to avoid stressful situations and to take things easy. I'll be calling to see if I can change the locks on the home now and if not I'm going to start looking for places. Thank you to everyone that's reached out with comments, kind messages and helpful advice. Update 2. Final update I changed my locks, figured if he'd get the law involved I'd use pregnancy brain and being forgetful to give him a spare set. He broke in late last night, I was able to contact the police before I confronted him but due to location I knew it would be a bit. I tried walking by him to leave the house but every time I would he'd shove me, once hard enough to make me stumble and fall backwards. The eerie part is he never once yelled through things one of the items hit me causing an emergency room visit requiring stitches, said the most vile things he hated me, I should kill myself, how useless I was etc yet never once raised his voice, I'm not saying that in a good way I wish he would have yelled, it was a fight or flight instinct and I found out mine was to freeze. I hate that for myself. He was arrested and his mother already bailed him out, him staying at a hotel thanks to a work advance and looking into apartments. I won't be stepping a foot into that home we shared until my best friend is here and even then it will be with police being with us. Nobody can figure out what made him change almost overnight, only thing I'm guessing is a psychotic break, but I'm not a therapist or doctor. Besides some ugly bruises and some stitches myself and the baby are fine. My lawyer feels like this is enough to get a protection order for myself and will include the pregnancy slash baby. Next time I see him will be at court, sorry I'm rambling and maybe this doesn't make any sense. For now I'm safe, can sleep good for the first time in weeks. I have the dogs. Nobody is aware of where I am besides one close person, and the police. Update 3. Police met me at my home to grab some personal belongings and pretty much anything and everything else I could grab. Thanks to the user who recommended me calling the non-emergency number it was smooth sailing he wasn't home, I didn't have the fear of him showing up and both officers were very kind. What I walked into on the other hand was not very fun this man looked like he went on a bender. Bleach on clothes, food everywhere, personal belongings just destroyed, especially the nursery. I was able to salvage a lot of the bigger items and packed what I could, they're now in storage until I move into my place. Took pictures and as aggravating as it was especially with the one step forward two steps back I'm hopeful that they'll just be another thing used against him to prevent custody. As far as him he has no way of contacting other than attorney or email and it's been quiet on both ends, his parents have not reached out I don't even know what I'd say to them if they tried so no loss there. His girlfriend yes girlfriend as I found out has been trying to contact me via friends to let me know she's pregnant, I'm unsure if that's true or not but that in the very least confirms the affair and how well he kept things hidden. I do want to clear the air I made a post asking for helpful information on resources that could potentially help and someone made a comment saying I was in it for a long con and that's just untrue I have not and will not accept any personal items slash donations other than advice and maybe an internet hug. While I wish my story was made up, it is not. Maybe it's a venting board maybe it's just connecting with people that have been in the same situation but it helps keep me sane. Anyway I'll leave it at thank you all for listening and checking up on me I'm safe I'm good, pregnancy is the only thing kicking my butt and I'll make sure to make a post in a few months letting y'all know she's here and that we made it. Bye for now. Next story. My, 31 female, fiancé, 39 male, snapped and I'm unsure if I'm overreacting. Original post. My fiancé and I have been together three years and living together too, he's definitely a hothead, it's been a problem in the past, but he's a wonderful partner otherwise. He cooks, I clean, we both work and we're best friends. We spend all our spare time together going on road trips, trying new foods or just hanging out. He has in the past lost it over small things, followed someone home twice over driving and he yelled at them, he's an angry driver in general, he thinks no one can drive and is often speeding through traffic. His angry driving is an everyday occurrence. I let him drive because it's not worth the stress if I drive because he doesn't like it, he punched a hole in a closet door after a stressful day at work and I sarcastically replied to his mood. He immediately apologized when he calmed down the next day, but it scared me at the time. This was a year ago his temper is an everyday thing, but it's never directed at me. He also used to tell me to pack my things and f off if we were arguing, I'm definitely a calm let's talk this out person, he's an I don't want to talk about it person, he often feels attacked and it's something we had to work through. He's much better now, he tried anger management but said it wasn't working with his work schedule. His communication is much better. Apart from that, he's an affectionate goofball who treats me like a queen, he would do anything for me I just have to ask. It's like a different person takes over. 
O to the incident. We were going on a holiday this week, 12, hour road trip, and we decided to leave at 3 a.m. He said he didn't sleep well and I annoyed him because I wasn't ready quick enough, I wasn't I forgot some things and I admit that I took too long and we left late. We stopped an hour later to grab a quick service station meat pie, I don't really remember the conversation leading up to this, I don't even know if we were arguing. All I know is his meat pie leaked on his shirt, he swore and ripped his shirt down the middle, like the Hulk, and threw it out the window. He proceeded to speed and had the angriest look on his face. I was scared, it was a dark back road and I could see he was doing 140 kilometers, I told him I was scared and to stop and he ignored me, I told him to please calm down and stop. Suddenly he slammed on the brakes and all out things in the back flew forward, he turned to look at me and said there before taking off again only faster doing 160 kilometers. I sat there terrified to speak up again and that we would hit something. He stopped not long after and told me to drive because he was going to sleep. He woke up two hours later and didn't say anything about it, it was an hour or so after he woke up he said sorry about before I was really tired. I'm in shock, he doesn't seem to think it was a huge deal. It's been two days and we've just moved on from it, he said nothing happened and he knows how to control a vehicle and why would he put himself in danger. I just need some advice, I'm starting to rethink this whole relationship based off this incident because I'm scared to tell my friends because they will hold judgments on him. Update I'm so completely overwhelmed by the response from this group, I never thought I'd receive so many helpful and worried comments. I have four more days of this trip and since so many are telling me to be careful I am not going to do anything until I get home. You've all shown me it's time to tell my sister and brother what's going on, they live in the same city. Update. Thank you to everyone who commented on my previous post, it's been a while since my original post and a lot has happened. The end of the relationship was nothing short of a soap opera. I spent nights in bed next to him on our holiday reading Lundy Bancroft's book and I was floored. All the comments were so eye-opening even if I didn't want to believe it was that serious. So many things were hitting home. So many things I didn't consider abuse, but these were things I wasn't telling friends or family about, I was protecting him from anyone knowing what he was really like. A part of the book referenced cheating and abusers as one archetype that matched a lot of my partner's attributes. I thought I was crazy, but over a week after we got home from our holiday he got home from work, we had dinner and he went to shower so I checked his phone. I repeated this for quite a few nights gathering evidence. He has been cheating on me, lots of different women over the last three years and currently one woman who knows all about me and likes to talk about how awful I am with him. A lot of things he thought he deleted that messenger archived. I eventually confronted him one of those nights when he was coming to bed and he told me he was too tired to talk about it and that I invaded his privacy and that they were just friends. I was so angry I pushed it, in terms of keeping the conversation going, not physically, he said he wanted to sleep and I said if I wasn't getting any sleep he wasn't either. He snapped. He punched a hole in the wall, he broke our dresser, it's destroyed, he went into the kitchen and smashed other things. It was terrifying, I was begging him to stop. He then said I was lucky something of his wasn't broken. I said why, what does that mean? He said he would have Vuna lived me, more graphic, but I'm not sure I can post that here. I got my things and snuck to my car and went to a friend's. He called me and said not to bother coming home, I wasn't? Why would I? The next day he said it was all my fault because I wouldn't let him walk away, that I was a moron and ruined everything. That I should have let him sleep and waited until the morning. I called my brothers and said I needed to get my things. I decided it wasn't a good idea for them to come yet because I think they would have escalated the situation as they were angry too. I took my sister and friend and had them wait in the car until I was sure it was safe, he wasn't meant to be home but was. They said I had five minutes until they were coming in. I told him I'd come to get my things, he got emotional and said he never wanted me to see that side of him. I said we were done and he got angry again and chased me into the garage throwing pillows at me. He said I would regret not fighting for this and I asked him what I was fighting for because this wasn't how you treat someone you love. He collapsed into a crying mess and said he loved me too much and needed me, that he'd been an idiot and ruined it all. He said I could take what I wanted that he would speak to me tomorrow when we've both slept. He got upset when my friend and sister came inside because he didn't know they knew. I took the opportunity to get clothes and my brothers returned for my things two days after. He sobbed on the phone to me to reconsider that he wasn't getting attention from me and did the wrong thing, 
that he's really stressed and it all came to a head. He also told me this would happen to me again and the devil I knew was better than any other. He was begging me to come home. I cut contact. Three weeks later he's posting pictures with one of the other women and in a relationship with her. I'm just floored by the turn in events. Thank you to everyone who commented, this man was an abuser and writing here saved me. Please don't date angry men, please realize if there's physical violence of any kind they're capable of worse. The cheating was a bullet I didn't see coming, I never suspected him of that ever in the whole three years and I'm extremely embarrassed of being replaced so easily and being fooled so easily. I'm living with my brother, my self-esteem is in the toilet and I guess I'm starting my life over again now. Thank you again for all your help, I feel so rattled, I've never once thought it was abuse, I just thought he needed help and support. I hope you guys liked this video if you did make sure like, comment, share and subscribe the channel or posts.